Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just wanted to come and run my mouth for a quick second. And then after this, I really want to go take me a quick nap. Um, I'm hoping it's really like no more than an hour long, but you know, my naps don't really be naps. Like my naps be full blown, like girl, <laughs> girl, turn the lights down low, girl. I'm talking about I'll be knocked out. Do you hear me? But we're going to try to do the hour nap today because, um, I have some things that I need to take care of anyways. So let's go ahead and get into these hot topics for today. Um, there's a pastor. I heard the saints, hear, hear the saints come. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, when the saints go marching in. Oh, I want to be in the number. Oh, when the saints go marching in. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all worship God or if y'all worship pastors. That's why, like, even when we talk about, like, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City and people are saying that Mary has a cult, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, girl, but like I always say, girl, most of y'all who go to church are in cults. Girl, see how quick a pastor can do wrong and then look how fast, girl, the congregation or the members that go to his church will, girl, turn into a complete contortionist, girl, to try and to make sense out of what John Gray did multiple times or what Jamal Bryant did multiple times or when Eddie Long was alive, what he did. You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, girl, right? Look how fast, girl. They'll chop your neck off talking about, you don't talk about no man of God. That's a man of God, girl. I'm a woman of God. <laughs> it's a pastor named Mike Todd. He's a weirdo. It is what it is. Um, I'm not even going to play the video because it's just disgusting. Um, but in the video, he basically spits in his hand. This happened at church. He spits in his hand, like all of that, puts in the palm of his hand. <laughs> and he rubs a man's face with his saliva. Now, they say that the man that was on... Um, I guess in the pulpit at on, on stage, <laughs> you know, because at this point, girl, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of these pastors, girl, they actors and actresses. <laughs> Catch that, all right? <laughs> y'all talk about us being some of the girls, girl. Some of the girls be be girl, girl be in the church house every Sunday. <laughs> uh, yeah, y'all yeah. don't want to have that conversation though. <laughs> Um, a lot of these pastors are, but they say the guy that was, I guess, in the in the video clip was his brother. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, at this point, you know, I'm not. I don't know why I'm shocked because I think I'm shocked because nobody just gets their spit. And like, I don't know if I'm more upset or bothered by Mike Todd or by that other grown man who sat on stage and let another man wipe him down with his saliva. Girl, what is wrong with y'all? Girl, what is wrong with y'all? I really want to know. And he the type, he probably the type that'll go home and talk about he the head of household and a protector and a leader. But you just let another man embarrass you on somebody's stage by spitting in his hand and girl will slap you in your face. You let another whole man just do that, do that to you in front of on, on a world that everybody can see. The world is talking about it now. I don't know if the world's talking about it, but it, it makes it sound a little bit more dramatic when you say the world is talking about it. Okay. You know, I like to put a little stink on my stories. But girl, it's on the blogs. You're viral. 
And a lot of these pastors, that's what they want. That's why I call them actors. They're actors. My child might be an actress from what I can see. <laughs> Girl, was another clip of him. Uh, it was another clip going around of him basically saying that basically if your man is knocking you upside your head, that ain't a reason to leave a marriage. He said it. I saw the clip. He said it. Violence is not a reason. It's not enough to leave a marriage. These are the men and I'm sure he probably got a packed church. Because look, from what I can see from the stage, it looks like that, that's not like a regular church in the country. So I'm sure he probably has a nice little congregation. And this is the stuff that you're telling your congregation. And you, and you probably will have men and women in the, the audience. Of, well, I forgot what it's called, girl. Girl, hooping and hollering. Amen, pastor. You better say it, pastor. Amen, brother. Anyways, girl, there is a tweet that Amber Rose had put out back in 2015. This was actually on February the 20th, 2015. And she put, at Kanye West, I'll leave it up to the Kartrashians to humiliate you when they're done with you. You know, a lot of people have been weighing in on what's been going on with the Kardashians and Kanye West. And yes, we are still talking about it because it's a hot topic. This is what it comes down to. You know, like I said, I know a lot of y'all don't really like the Kardashians. and That's completely fine. I understand why, because they do and have done, they do questionable stuff and have done questionable stuff. And some stuff, they should have probably just outright got their ass whooped. Okay? Um... But I think if you listen to what Kanye has been saying, like, I don't know. I just feel like when I listen, like when I listen to people, I try to listen to what they're saying. And girl, I think we all contradict ourselves sometimes. No, I think we, I, I think we all do all the time. Well, sometimes. On some stuff, I can see how we can contradict ourselves. But I think like in this situation, like, I don't know, girl. Kanye. 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 I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about Kanye and Kim. Um, Drake. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> girl, so this is old. This is about, girl, I forgot this was some days ago. So Drake seemingly responds to rumors after a model claimed she's planning on suing him. The woman is alleging that Champagne Poppy put hot sauce in their used condom following their consensual relations to prevent her from stealing his specimen. We can't confirm the women's, uh, woman's claim, but Drake seemingly let someone know that they can have their 15 minutes following the rumor making their rounds. He put up on his Instagram page, you can have your 15 minutes of fame. I'll take the other 23 hours and 45 minutes. I mean, if this is true, girl, I mean, can you really be mad at him? I mean, because the girls are here getting $40,000. <laughs> can you be mad at him? Because, girl, from what I can see, girl, Girl, you know, girl, the next person who hit up, the next person who hit up Drake, baby, that could probably hit them a cute little lick, okay? Y'all need to live Fuchsia alone. Go to Drake. Drake only got one kid that we know about. So if you go to Drake, and we know Drake probably got, we know Drake money way longer than um, Tristan Thompson's. Well, I think it is. I don't know that to be factual. So, girl, if y'all girls looking for a quick lick, baby, go to Champagne Poppy. Go to Jimmy, Okay? But it look like Drake done caught a, done got, done got, uh, a hold to the game because he putting hot sauce in the condoms, baby. He said, not today. Not today. Ain't going to be no little Jimmy running around here. He already got one little white son. <clears throat> All right. 
NBA star LaMelo Ball, Lama, La, LaMelo Ball's former publicist claims he owes her over $10 million after cutting her out of a $100 million Puma deal. Ooh, wee girl. Listen to this. So according to reports, Charlotte Hornets player LaMelo Ball, 20, is being sued by his former publicist, Amber Johnson, who is claiming the professional athlete owes her over $10 million for public relations services as she provided him in 2019. I mean, she provided him in 2019, including helping him secure a $100 million shoe deal. Reportedly, Johnson filed a lawsuit against LaMelo, B LaMelo Ball with the Los Angeles Superior Court on Monday, January the 10th, for a breach of contract. According to the suit, Johnson was able to get Ball a guest appearance on a live streaming show, Game Time, which airs on a social broadcasting platform, um, Caffeine T T TV. The suit continues and claims that Following Ball's time on the show, he and his manager, Jermaine Jackson, hired Johnson to keep providing public relations services for the star athlete. Reportedly, the plaintiff and defendant had a verbal agreement that Johnson would get paid, I mean, would be paid a 10% finder's fee for any brand deals that she obtained for Ball, in addition to being reimbursed for any out-of-pocket cost she incurred on his behalf. The lawsuit adds that Johnson is responsible for getting the ball rolling, rolling on Ball's lucrative Puma deal. According to legal documents, Johnson is the person who initially contacted the entertainment division of Puma North America, Inc. to inquire if the company had any interest in teaming up with Ball and paying the professional guard to rock their products. Ball's manager, Jermaine Jackson, eventually told Jackson to stop communicating with Puma because Ball was looking at a similar endorsement deal from Nike, according to the lawsuit. Girl. Girl, I saw somebody say in the comment section that verbal agreements are just as good as, um, you know, written agreements. You just have to prove that there was an actual, you know, a verbal agreement. I just don't understand how when it comes to bit like this type of business, it's one thing, girl, if you say, oh, girl, if I make it across the bridge, girl, you're going to give me $20. I don't know. I don't know like, if I jump across this bridge. I don't know, girl. But something like this, well, girl, your, your payday is $10 million. <laughs> You ain't got nothing in writing on a, on a piece of napkin, girl, a Starbucks cup. <laughs> girl, I mean, girl, the palm of your hand. I don't know. Girl, the, 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 the girl on your back, girl, on my, my T-shirt. It sounds like she made an agreement to basically it just sounds like she made a verbal agreement for any dealing, any, any, any um deals that she brought to them. A uh, him. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Girl, if she I mean if it's true, I hope she get her money, child. Anyways, let's go to the next story. TikTok star 28 is strangled to death by his boyfriend of 10 years during argument about a video game. Girl! TikTok star Rory Teasley, 28, died last week after allegedly being strangled to death by his boyfriend of nearly a decade during a fight. Do you know, like, to strangle someone, how... I don't know the word I'm looking for. How I want to say intimate, and I know it's not intimate. It's just like to strangle someone. Like you really have to be, like to look at, like you're literally probably looking at someone. And because when I think when I think about somebody strangling someone, I'm thinking about you probably on top of them. Or they're facing, like y'all are face to face. So for you to strangle someone and to kill them by strangulation, girl, that means you probably were looking at this person in their face while they were dying and you continue to strangle them. Girl, that is crazy. Girl, that is crazy. Y'all don't think that's crazy? 
Teasley's longtime boyfriend, the Quan, the Quan Jovo girl. Girl DJ, we're gonna call him DJ. <laughs> the Quan Jovo Watkins, DJ Watkins girl. Um, 31 was booked um, at Oakland County Jail early. He was denied bail and charged with homicide. Watkins called 911 Thursday night saying that the two had gotten into a fight while playing Overwatch and that Teasley was now sleeping on the couch. He's sleeping on the couch. TikTok star, um, I'm sorry. The TikToker was rushed to the hospital and pronounced dead after he was found unconscious and not breathing. Teasley amassed the following of 221,000 TikTok followers, 64,000 Instagram followers, and millions of viewers watching his comedy and dance videos. Girl, that is so sad. Girl, how you be in a relationship with somebody? That's why I'm like, girl, I don't know why y'all be in a rush to get into a relationship, girl. <laughs> Either y'all be getting y'all ass whooped or killed. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. Stuff like this made me, like, even if I wanted to be in a relationship, I would be nervous. Because, I like, every time I look up, there's something going on in a relationship where it's like, girl, we're supposed to trust each other and love each other. And, girl, you're the person who I need protection from. You know what I'm saying? It's so, like, weird. Like, you've been with this man for 10 years and he killed you. And, like, he killed, he strangled you. Girl, he didn't shoot you. Right? Like he strangled you. Which means he had to like it like he like he held on for some seconds while you died. Like he knew what was going on. And then girl, when you think about it, girl, how he died, girl, I, I strangled him over a video game. You know how crazy that sounds? Girl. The girls be violent, girl. The girls be violent, girl. Now, I know the girls be fighting. <laughs> girl, I'm going to be honest. You know, I done already told y'all. One thing about it, two things for sure, baby. The punks be fighting. Girl, the punks and lesbians, they be turning up their apartments. Don't ever get it twisted. <laughs> but I ain't know that was her killing each other over video games. I ain't know that now. Now, I know y'all was probably throwing each other against the wall. And doing a quick one-two tussle. But girl, y'all out here killing each other over video games. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I had never heard of either one of these guys before. But the one who killed him, he looked like he did it. He did it. Crazy looking ass. Anyways, girl, I'll talk to y'all later. Let me go ahead and take me a quick nap. And I'll be back later, girl. You know we're going to talk about Porsche Family Matters, girl. I know that's what y'all really want to talk about. <laughs> okay? Y'all really, y'all really, y'all really waiting for me. Y'all really waiting for me to give my, give, give my opinion on that Porsche Family Matters. You know I'm going to wear my girl. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.